Hi everybody, it's Roxy Allen and this is what we're painting today. So the quick list of supplies, black, any black will do. Raw Sienna, oh, I love this color so much. Uh, raw Umber, one of my all-time faves, to be sure. Purple. Uh, titanium white, block out white, any white. And let's do cadmium orange and alizarin crimson. We're also going to need a permanent green medium. Any light green will do. Um, and this is cerulean blue or a sky blue, any type of light blue. I'm using a one inch, my beloved and very messy one inch wash brush my half inch angular and a number four round. You can also use uh, probably a number six liner. That would be just fine too or whatever you've got. All right, I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas and I'm going to do it vertically just for the sake of space and because for me, it's easier to hang paintings, and I find most people have more room for a vertical painting than they do a horizontal. So, let's get rolling. The first thing I'm going to do is take my raw sienna, move it a little bit closer to me, and I'm going to get the edges here. Get all of the edges. And I, as I'm getting the edges, I'm just bringing in, you have to kind of decide, actually, you know what, that's not the way I want to go. I'm going to go vertically. So I just want to color in the edges, and then I'm going to bring these down. And they're pretty haphazard, and I'm letting a lot of that texture show through. And just keep going. Okay. And I'm just bringing it down and I'm kind of being random about it. See how these are pretty different in some of them. But the important thing here is just to really get the edges so you've got that nice gallery wrapped feel. And look, and then I like to put my lines all going the same direction. I'm just going to keep on with just the raw sienna, and I want to get the sides really dark, kind of the edges dark, and just a little bit going through the middle, not too much. Okay, sorry about my voice, you guys. It's, it's, uh, oh, I'm challenged right now, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going into my cerulean blue and just gently bringing it in. And I'm just hitting these, a few of these areas. I'm being, you know, pretty lackadaisical about where it is. I don't want it completely covered, but I kind of want it to just spill over the side in lots of different little places here. And I love that uh, my raw sienna is still a bit wet. It's going to make for a choppier look. And for me right now, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Kind of this beautiful distressed thing. And in some areas, it's going to be darker. Just make sure you're getting the sides, and again, I'm just doing the distressed kind of look on the side, if you can see that. And if it gets too dark in any area, just use your brush somewhere else and then come back and grab some of that. I want to leave this middle area much lighter than the rest of it. And I love these chunky spots. Well, they're not uh, texturally chunky, but color-wise, there's a few places of saturation and I love that. Okay. 
a little touch more. And I think that's good for me right now. Okay, so um, again, I'm not washing my brush. You can if you want to, but I want those colors to play off of each other. So I'm going straight into my permanent green. This is medium right here. And just doing the same kind of thing. You can soften these colors if, you, if they're too bold for you. It's like, I totally get that. And I might, at this point, even start bringing in a touch of white to just offset some of that brightness. Just a little bit. You can also muddy it up a little with um, a touch of that raw sienna. Just bring it back in there. That's kind of fun. Drag that in there. And this is the type of painting that I feel like is so enjoyable, so relaxing. I could just, there's just a bit of reckless abandon with it, and it's fun. So just, you know, be your artist self and just go for it. Okay, I went and got my raw umber. It's just a super dark brown. And I'm just laying it down kind of around these corners and the edges. And I'm not going to pull it through most of the painting. Just a little bit here and there. But I want to keep it particularly next to the edges. You think of old paper and how the edges kind of turn these gorgeous colors. Okay, so I'm going to start laying in my flowers, and you can put them anywhere. I always suggest an odd number. It just works better, um, unless you're doing something that's a little more symmetrical, but odds really make things pop. I don't know why. And I am just going to take my angle brush and just kind of center myself for a second and just consider the composition that I want. So you can start with Okay, I'm actually going to start with my raw sienna and go So I'm just laying this in with my raw sienna because it's easy to use as a shadow. I like that, and I like them to be, they're kind of ovals, but it's petally, so they're much more of an organic shape than just an oval. And let's do... Might even use a little white where it's darker. Yeah, I like that shape. It's really fun. And just consider where the stuff is coming from. Oh, I do want to show you. If you don't like a flower, uh, I hate to do it because I actually do kind of like this flower, but I'm just taking some water and scribbling this on in. So you can kind of see that it's like uber forgiving. Throw it back up in there and let this dry. And then you're just going to do some of the same fun stuff that you did. But let it dry a little bit so that the paint doesn't run too much. Um, and you can just cover this up and it's not a problem. But since I do like that flower, I'm going to bring it back just a little bit. 
Okay, go ahead and let your white dry and then come back in and load up those flowers with the alizarin crimson. And at this point, I really like it when there's a little additional texture. If you want to wait until the orange or if you just or a texture fan, that is perfectly fine. It is okay if you leave a little bit of a white ring. I might touch that up with a little sienna later on, but I'm not too worried about it. If I don't like it, I can cover it up later. Okay, once you've laid that in, feel free to go back over it a touch in some spots. You can wait until it's dry if you want to. But it's not quite that deep red that I'm looking for yet in that second coat. Not everywhere, but in a few spots should really do it. So... I'm switching to my cadmium orange and I'm going to put some on my plate because I don't want to get red in here. Okay. And I am throwing this on some of the edges and I'm being very haphazard about it. I love texture. So for me, it's just really fun to have. Of course, you use up a lot more paint this way, but really fun. Now, you can see I'm kind of going with the flow. I think it's really fun. You can do the really, uh, you know, defined lines like we have over here. And that is, I mean, I love doing this painting. This was my inspiration, of course, for doing this painting. But today, I just don't feel so structured. I want a little bit more whimsy. And I know that's not very structured, but you know what I mean. Purple. And I might take the tiniest hint of black and throw it in there a little bit. Not much. I really don't want it to be black. And I'm just going to go really loose again. Uh, I'm not going to put any on my bud there, I don't think. Just go with what makes sense to you. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm going to let this dry and work on these leaves. And again, I'm going to do, what am I going to do? I'm going to mute these out a little bit, but I think I'm going to start with... I think I'm going to start with a little combination of um, this raw sienna and green. And just lay some stuff in here. And again, if you're not crazy about the lines, just go lightly and add. So I have added in the sienna and my light green kind of together and I'm just going to go through and create a few shadows probably with a little bit of raw umber and maybe even throw some purple in there but I want everything pretty chill. I do want to come back in here with a darker green and uh, maybe even a touch of purple on that. I might mix my green and my purple together and see what I come up with. So 
So this is just a combination of that permanent light, or no, sorry, permanent green medium and the uh, dioxidine purple and a touch of black. There's definitely a touch of black in there. And I'm just going to pretend that the light is sort of coming down. So I'm going to do all of my shadows kind of underneath. And if you don't want shadows, you don't have to do them. Okay, so I went a little crazy with my green. And I still really like it, so I'm keeping it. Um, and I almost like that it kind of looks like it's growing on the side here, which is really fun. And I'm just going to, now this is just kind of the time where you want to really start to center yourself and figure out, okay, where do I need some highlights? Where do I need to make the design brighter? Do I want to put anything else in the background, you know, make some of this stuff kind of fall back farther? And I'm just going to sit here and look at this for a second and figure that out. So I'm taking a little bit of my uh, green and just mixing it with a touch of white, actually a lot of white, and the tiniest touch of my raw sienna. I'm just adding a few highlights where I think they need to be. Okay, I'm going to add a few extra highlights on my flowers by taking a little of the cadmium orange with a little white, just making it a little brighter, and I'm going to hit it ooh, just kind of on top of these areas, just a little bit here and there. And uh, a little extra white if I need it.
Okay. And I'm going to come in with a touch more white and a touch more sienna and give the middle of my flower some highlights. So you can do it a couple ways. And I'll show you, well, you can do it any, all sorts of way, but this will be kind of fun. There's a little bit there, and that is great. All right, so I'm taking a little of my sienna, mixing it with white, and you can come in and do some dots if you want to. You can do that. Um, I really like, let's see, I'm going to go back over that. You can do the dots. And you can touch up if you want to, just have some fun. Okay. 